Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. We're out foraging again. It's the end of April and I'm on the Shropshire Herefordshire border. And what I've got here is a lovely spring mushroom, spring stroke summer mushroom to show you. This is the Dryad Saddle. And these are young Dryad Saddles. Polyporus squamosus. As with all polypores, if you have a look up here, on this larger one, there's no sign of gills, it's tubes under the cap, pores under the cap. And uh, if we pan up to the top of that slightly bigger one, I'll just give you a size comparison. There's my hand, so you can see it's already a large mushroom. But you can see on the back there why it's got the other name, the pheasant back mushroom. Now, this is an edible mushroom, and at this stage, it's not too bad. It's actually got a really unusual flavor for a mushroom. It tastes a little bit like watermelon, and certainly one of the key identifiers is if you cut a bit of this mushroom, it um, smells of watermelon. So, an unusual flavor to the mushroom, but if you cook it, at this stage, when it's young, it's still quite soft, so if you cook it slowly, it's got a reasonable flavour. We've also dried it at this stage and powdered it for stock, which it makes quite a reasonable stock, uh, mushroom flavoured, not watermelon flavoured. But then what happens with this mushroom is it gets huge. You can see this stem here, it's a big stem, and that's a big stem to support a huge cap. I've seen Dryad saddle caps uh, for at least 60 centimeters in in diameter and obviously to get that big It's got to get rather woody. It's got to get really strong to, to support the weight Plus also when it gets to uh, its larger size, it's almost invariably Infested with maggots, but at this stage, it's a, a perfectly edible mushroom Not one of my favorites, but it's one that uh, I'll eat quite happily once or twice a year um, an interesting mushroom because of its size. I believe it's the largest capped mushroom in Britain. You know, it's got a stem and a cap. It's not a polypore or a bracket rather that comes straight out of the side of the tree. So I think I'm correct in saying that it's the largest mushroom in Britain with a stem and a cap. It's got the name the Dryad Saddle because of uh, Greek mythology. The Dryads were uh, small nymphs or specifically oak nymphs. The, the Driss or the Dryce was Greek for oak and the Dryads were nymphs that uh, I'd imagine fit on top of these and used them as saddles but they wouldn't have to be that small because as I say at 60 centimetres that would be a saddle big enough for me. Anyway. Dryad saddle, easy to recognise, there's not much else around at this time of year, there really isn't anything that gets to this size that looks like this that will grow out the side of dead wood, it does also grow out the side of living wood and it's not too fussy about the trees that it will grow out of, it's almost, well it is I think exclusively broadleaf trees but it will grow out of a number of different types. Um, it normally grows out of dead wood but it will grow out of living wood and it causes uh, white rot in the heart of some trees as well so it's not too great for all trees but it's a pretty good one for your kitchen. If you want to find out more go to www.wildfooduk.com